right, Luke Sauce in the uh, skyline, GT. Trying to save the run. Not a bad angle. He didn't spin out, did he? So. Yeah, it's not a bad little scene. Oh. <clears throat> he was already out of the course, okay, judges. Was he? I don't know. All right, hey, Rex, to, <laughs> Rex the Destroyer to sail. Oh, he starts it early, like across the start line. He's already sideways. That's good, though. We like that. Get that speed up. Keep it up. Sound like he dipped and revs there a little bit. All right, holding the angle there. Nicely done. Good transition. Gonna try to hold it wide there. Oh. Had to let off a little bit. Didn't want to smack those cones as he enters the big O. All right, Rex to sail. Okay. Oh, I was gonna be like, you can, you can stop now. You can stop. Sure. Now we've got Rie Shinmi, our lady professional D1 drifter. Again, Google this lady, Rie Shinmi. You can see the skill there. She got into a little trouble in this transition, but she managed to feather the throttle, saw the wheel a little bit, get herself back into a good position to really, really bring the smoke. All right, up next, this is Angel French out there in his Subaru. A little bit of understeer. Is that supposed to be like the year 86? Because I think he put the quotation marks in the wrong place. Now it just looks like 86 inches. Is that the wheelbase or the track or? something else. Again, Angel French as we see Abner making his uh, way around the track for his third and final qualifying run. It's Abner Flores. but ends up saving it, whipping it around there, setting himself up big for the big old. All right, Abner, not bad, not bad. These guys are really uh, finding their groove now, I dig it. We got Jordan Salas on the track right now. Nice, right, starts it early, gets a good angle, a little bit too tight. On that one, had to let off a little bit, and just setting it up, just setting it up. All right, after finishing up his run, Jordan Salas up next in the orange so I believe oh no we're skipping forward to Ron Ron's a Mazda guy man he's been out here with his FC's his RX-7's now the Miata nice he takes a different line from the other guys That short wheelbase, man, he really whips that thing around there. Ron Avellino really whipping that Miata around. That looks super. All right, now we're back to, is this Jordan? Carl, Carl, all right, we're back to Carl. His final qualifying run. Whoa, 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 whoa. Carl 
not a, not a bad run here. Carl, he shows that car too. I know he's been in some uh, shows before, so. All right, up next. Ooh, Derek, ooh. Derek, a little, no, no, you can just stop. We need that code. Derek, we need that. Derek, Derek, could you just, Derek, could you just, would you just? Sorry guys, I was trying to help, man. Are you gonna drop it off to them? Oh, no, all right, let's see how it is. All right, up next, we got Mr. Claro in the Hyundai Genesis. Man, he got hard on that e-brake right there. See the rear wheels lock up. Nicely done, keeping the speed up, keeping the angle, takes that one wide, setting himself up nicely for this transition. A lot of smoke, judges like to see that. that wide nice clipping point right there mr oh a little wave to the crowd we like to think that was a wave to the family and don kabuha up next nice he takes a wide line when you take the wide lines you keep the speed up Maybe you don't get the angle that the judges are looking for, but you do keep your speed up, and Don is doing a good job of that right now into this tricky transition. Let's just swing it wide up around there. Nice, keeps the speed up for the big O. Little tight in there. He's got to get the back end out a little bit further, but I think he's doing a good job. Mr. Kabuhat. And a wave to the crowd, too. Jasper Leon right now. Ooh, he had a good angle there. Had to let off a little bit. Trying to keep it wide, trying to kick the back end out. Oh! It's okay, Jasper. Up next, Andrew with his third and final qualifying run. No, we're not related. All right, Andrew, a little understeer there. Too much traction on the rear end, couldn't quite kick the back out, didn't have enough speed getting into that first corner, but now he uh, does kick it out again. Little trouble with it. Gonna try to hold it. Gonna try to hold it through the big O. As he's as he's exiting the track, Von Burrell is back up with his S12, RB26, swap, 25. RB25 swap. He's got a two in front end. Oh, Von, whoa, Von took it really wide. Thought he was gonna get that cone there. Taking this one wide as well, but he knows what he's doing. He's in control. All right, as Von Burrell finishing up his run, Alex Grimmer is making his third and final qualifying run. So Von Burrell been pretty consistent all night. there for that clipping point. Trying to keep it tight on the big O. Keep the back end out, keep the speed up. Nice, nice finish by Alex. Had a little trouble at the uh, first half of the course, but uh, Alex did have a nice little finish there. Julius Castillo up next, making his third and final run. Starts his drift deep. If, well, he will eventually. Understeer, got to stiffen up that front suspension. Not a 
All right, Alex Castillo adds, or Julius Castillo, I'm sorry, adds uh, Matt. Takes the course for his uh, third and final qualifying run. Gets a good start there. Starts the drift early, right before the first uh, light pole. Holding a good angle there. Keeping the speed up. That is key in this section and in this transition. You want to maintain the speed, but keep the angle. Couldn't quite keep the back end out there without losing a lot of speed, so. That nice in the big O. As Jake Ariola, there you go, he starts his, he's doing a little side to side, that Scandinavian flick, I like to call it. All right, Jake, nice right through there. Not uh, carrying a whole lot of speed, but the angle was pretty good. This one right here, oh, can he hold it? Oh, couldn't quite hold that one. All right, Danny Lee, our last qualifying run and then we're going to seed them so get yourself a beverage while we do that Benny Lee goes just a bit outside There you go, those are your qualifying rounds. 25 drivers. The judges are gonna go over their scores. We're gonna add them up. We are going to uh, pick the top 16.